we'll now look at marketing. Let's click onto the menu on the left, click onto marketing heading and specifically communications. Clicking into here will load your template library so any previously created communication will be displayed. So this could either be an eShot or an SMS. So as you can see in this particular example we've got Ocean Hotel eShot and it's visit based with no date range, none sent currently, the date it was created and the fact that it's actually in development. So it hasn't been published just yet. Below that though we then have a birthday SMS. As you can see it's a birthday type, it's got a date range, so a start date and no end date, none have been sent. Again, the date it was created and this one has actually been published and also the published date. So you can see it's actually live and ready to go out as soon as the criteria is met. Now you have the menu option, so from here you're able to edit, so that will take you into the eShot or SMS allowing you to edit the details. You've got update details, so that will allow you to update the name, perhaps the type, so you can see here change the name or update the parameter type. You can duplicate, so again similar to the way the splash pages work, if you already add some imagery, some logos etc, you just want to change maybe some of the content, you can quite quickly duplicate it to save you some time. You can preview this and then finally you can delete. Any that are published, you won't have the ability to edit the contents because it has been published. So as you can see you can't click into here to change any of the details. So you would simply just duplicate that one or create a, a fresh one from scratch. Now at the top you do have the create new button and we also have the settings button. Now the settings button will allow you to use a custom email. So this is specifically for eShots and not SMS. So if you wanted to send out a, an eShot using your own email you can turn this toggle on, enter the eShot name, set the eShot email and click submit and then what will happen it will then get sent off to the Amazon verification team they'll then send an email to that account asking you to verify once verified any future eShots that get sent out will go from that email address back to the library uh, so let's click into the actual eShot itself so I'm going to click into the one we've already created so I'm going to click onto the name and as you can see then it loads up on the left hand side you've got your area where you actually create the eShot and then on the right you've got your venues and parameters and any filters and user demographic so the first thing you, with it being an eShot is going to go out via email so you've got the email subject line so in here you can enter your text below that you've then got the color code so you can choose one of our predefined colors or again use the custom picker and you're able to add in your own RGB colour scheme so it matches perfectly. Now you can see we've got a number of elements already created in here but you've got the add element button so essentially you can add a title, you can add text, you can add an image, ribbon and date range and again wherever there's an image it will always give you the format and the pixel size. Now once you add an element on the left hand side you can see you have the move icon so you can change the position of that element or you also have the the bin icon so that would delete that particular element from there completely. Now you notice when I do hover over anything that's an image so either the logo or the image itself it gives you the pixel format but also an image URL so what this allows you to do is actually make this particular eShot also a campaign so once you add a URL within the image you can just leave it as a URL so anybody that receives this eShot once they click onto there it will redirect them to the specified URL but you can also run it as a campaign so very similar to the online splash page so you can actually see exactly how many people have seen it and how many have physically clicked that link so all you need to do is give it a name click OK and then as I have said once that goes out to any users and they click onto there that will all be registered within the campaign area now you do have the option at the bottom here as well but because we've already turned it on within the image this option is greyed out. If we hadn't turned it on here we could just simply turn it on at the bottom here as well. At the bottom here because we're creating this at company level it's just giving you an idea of how many visitors this is likely to go out to. So again this is a demo portal so there's no historic data but you could have here multiple numbers of users so you can see exactly how many are likely to receive it and as you change this criteria on the right these numbers will also change. So, for example, if you then change it from all users to just females, then it's more likely to go down. 
so venues and parameters we've got ownerships level is company and because we have a company level we can select which particular venues we want it to be live at so it could be just the one and if I scroll down now you can see it only gives me the one venue we can say include visitors from the very beginning do not send to past visitors so we're only targeting future visitors or we can set a specific date range we can then continue until cancelled until I essentially click delete or we can do not send to future visitors so only targeting previous ones or again set a particular date range finally you can then add some filters so your user demographic so that would mean they'd only go to specific users depending on what criteria you specify in here so you could turn that off so it literally goes to everybody but if you do turn it on because of the particular type we selected which was visit type we can do by age gender visits or has visited so this one is currently set to two or more visits so it's like a loyalty scheme almost but we could add to that and say also female so not only do they have to be more than two times it has to be female or you can add another rule set and use the or or their age is 35 perhaps for example so either they've been two or more times in the female or their age is 35 we can save that and then those changes are in place so we can preview to see what it looks like and you can also send a test so that will allow you to enter an email so you'll receive this e-shot as if you were like an end user so you can see exactly how it looks we're still currently in preview mode so I click the edit button it takes me back to be able to edit the contents so once you've saved if I return back to the library you can see there's our e-shot it's not currently published so it's not going to go out to anybody and again because we're in the demo portal we're not able to publish this but if you did publish that would then go out instantly if anybody met that particular criteria and if I jump into the birthday SMS we can't change anything because it's been published but in here is a free form text box so you could add to this if it wasn't published but essentially because it is a text message it tells you how many character count if you go over 220 the SMS count goes up to two so obviously every one user would need two text messages to receive this particular message and then below it will tell you an estimate of again when you've selected the relevant venues how many people it's going to go out to so but again won't allow anything because we've published so if I return back to the library and click the create new template button you can see you can give the template a name and then you've got a selection of either eShot or SMS so if I just choose SMS first of all you can do visit based so that could be like a loyalty scheme once it's been five times you've got dwell based, dwell based is specific to certain hardware you have to have a location license and it triangulates where that user is when they're stood in a particular zone for X amount of time you can have the system to automatically send them out an eShot top customers, so top 10, top 25 or top 50 customers who come to our venue anybody with their birthday so the day before the birthday a week before or two weeks before online now so any users that are in the venue irrelevant of what hardware you have and then logic flow if you want to use uh, if you're using logic flow to send out communications you would need to create a logic flow type now you can't publish logic flow type communications but you can create them and then you will allow the logic flow to take care of when and where they get sent so I'm going to choose top customers click OK and then it will create my screen so as we saw I can enter my message it tells me how we're currently how many characters currently got all the venues but I can select as we did before I can select whether it's going to be my top 10 top 25 or top 50 you can see below this would list my top 10 and again I can add the relevant rule set age, gender, last visited and visited as we could as we saw in the previous example if you create a new eShot so again I'll just call this one you get the same options available to you and if we choose logic flow for example and click OK the screen is blank you can add the relevant elements as we saw before once you've added these there's no publish button as I mentioned you would simply select the venue it's for click save and then that would be available for you in your logic flow if you wanted to 
uh, set one up and use that particular feature. Finally, at the top, we have system templates. We only have the one in here, which is a birthday invite. So again, you can duplicate this to use as your core file or preview to have a look. But back into my templates. So in here you can see we've got to publish, it says published here because it's logic flow, so it's not going to go out until the logic flow is created. But these are now available to either publish or look at the reports on the information that's been sent out.